morning this morning. Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry, and I am here to do another Relax and Paint. So I'm thrilled with all the wonderful comments. I like your input. I like you tell me if you can't see my work, or I like you tell me if you want to see more of my work. Um, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe or share it with your friends so that they subscribe so we can grow more and more classes. Um, I'm working on doing more YouTube lives where I'm having you guys come on and talk to me. So that's kind of fun. That was new and I've enjoyed that. Um, so today I want to concentrate on something that um, I think helps you if you want to be able to paint more items with me like want to be able to create um, more paintings and I do a lot of flowers because so many of you like flowers I just realized my paper I was going to paint on has water on it so I'm going to get something else that I can work with so what I want to work with today is sharing with you some different strokes for flowers all right, so different petals. Um, I have already shared some of those with you, but I'm just going to do, I have a, a stroke study program on onestroke.com. And on that website, that's O-N-E-S-T-R-O-K-E, onestroke.com, you will see all sorts of downloadable lessons and, and um, how to um, certifications even online and skill builders and different things. The skill builders are about three hours long. And I just wanted to do a little bit of one of my beginner skill builders, which is flower petals and single simple leaves. And it's a fun way for you to get started. So I thought I'm gonna do a little sample of that with you today and see how you like it, all right? So let's get going. I'm gonna to go to my overhead camera and we are going to paint together. So if you can't paint with me now, come back a little bit later, get your supplies together and rewatch, okay? So I've got, uh, I'm using multi-surface paint, okay? Multi-surface is an acrylic paint, it's a foot part multi-surface, and what happens with it is that you can paint on multiple surfaces. It's got a sealer in it. It goes indoors or outdoors, so it's really wonderful. And I'm going to pull out some colors that I think you'll like. The first one is a magenta color, pink. It's a really pretty pink. But then I also have other colors that are, see that there it is, multi-surface, of course, so you can easily see it. I have them on my website, and they're in all the craft um, stores so you can find them pretty easily and I want to show you the difference between a, a red this um, this is not a red <laughs> okay so I'll do some a cobalt color which is nice and then sometimes I will pick up daffodil yellow all right so what happens with daffodil yellow I use that, oh, that's actually lemon custard with some daffodil. Here's some daffodil. So I'll show you the difference. And it's nice to know how, what happens with the paint. It's going to help you figure out some, um, some choices that you'll make when you're painting with, with our multi-surface. There we go. Just a little bit of purple. Okay. And that is perfect purple, which is almost out. All right, I also, I should have been in my double loader. It would be easy for you too. But so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to have a floating medium right here. Floating medium is a fluff that's in paint. It's usually not that watery, sorry. And fluff, it's usually the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment in it. So that if you feel like, I want you to listen to the video about this. If you feel like you need water, you would go into the floating medium. I've had a few questions that said, um, so as long as I use, um, don't use water and just paint, I'm okay, right? So here's how it should be. Should not be, that's a really old bottle, I guess, but that's how it should be thicker. So it's the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment in it, okay? So I have it in two ounces and I have it in eight ounces, all right? And we have a new colored bottle, so if you get it and it's <laughs> and it's not that color, if, if you get it and it's not this color, it's a white label, 
that's the newer ones all right so i'm going to use my flat brush i want to use a 16 so you see it really well and i always dampen my brush first and lay it on the paper towel to get the water out because we don't paint with water with my technique all right with one stroke painting so first thing let's come over here one of my most used colors is the magenta so i'm going to dip into the white or you can put the paints next to it next to each other if you put the paint next to each other let's grab this and put some right there okay then i would just go in between the two and if you go look at my double loader demonstration the double loader helps you stay clean and separate and helps you load better so go check out that demonstration but i'm gonna i just use a foam plate i don't want a paper plate because it absorbs it okay the moisture out all right so let's go here first and let's see here you go so it's going to be right here so you can see all right so i'm going to touch touch and do a v then i touch the chisel this is a chisel i touch push guide it around and let it stand up so push guide stand up so if you stand up more you don't get this little edge on there I go a little bit closer all right so let me show you what happens with this we're going to use lots of paint so this is a teardrop stroke and there's the first teardrop and i'm going to make it into a five petal flower so it's the head of a gingerbread man there's his arm his other arm now watch how i do that touch push there's a leg and you notice i keep going over here i keep going over here to get paint there's a second leg all right so all i do is i take the handle of the brush and do a dip dot and dip in the middle all right i can do little dots or i can do big dots okay so i want you to practice that and all it is is from here to here if you're lefty you touch here you put pressure down guide over the top and stand up that's what you do if you're left-handed all right now i'm going to come over here and pick up the a little bit more of this june berry so i dip the white because the brush is already loaded it's two-thirds full of paint and i can go right here next to the june berry it's a really yummy color white and june berry i'm pushing back and forth and quickly so it works into my brush and it's almost two-thirds okay so the next stroke that i'm going to do is i'm going to wiggle just a little bit and come down so instead of the teardrop i'm going to go on top of this and do a little bit of a wave even instead of it could be wiggled or a wave a wave to me is just a little loose wave and if you look at your flowers that you're copying in the garden you'll see that are you taking a deep breath this morning take a deep breath and think about all the blessings of nature out there and how they help us to uplift us when we see pretty flowers i during this coronavirus i concentrated on doing some pretty things in my desert of a backyard and i concentrated on planting planting some blooming flowers that are butterfly flowers and some little I, I got some of the trees and stuff that were clearance and they're getting rid of them at the garden center and guess what i planted them and nursed them and took care of them and just a little bit of uh, nourishment and they are just they're blossoming and looking beautiful and growing some are double the size already all right i was i was getting a sharpened pencil but i will just get a small head of this paintbrush okay so what i want you to see let's go back over here real quick this is lemon custard and it's and it's got like white in it so it covers better but it isn't very strong when we when we double load 
Now this is daffodil yellow and it's transparent because it doesn't have the white. So you can come over here and get that same color there. So the beauty is get your darkest, brightest color like moon yellow, some of these other colors, and then you can get any color you want, but white is going to make it opaque so you don't see through it. And that matters sometimes with our painting. Okay, so I want to get this, um, pick up this brush and just have little dots. So I want multiple dots in the middle of this one. Can you see that? Multiple dots. And you can use green, you can use other colors, but that's what I did first. All right, so now let's, um, let's do another flower. So I'm gonna pick up white and blue. This is cobalt, dip the white. I washed my brush because it had all that pink in it, but I didn't have to. I just chose to. Okay, so now the next stroke that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the V still, and I'm gonna push down, slide to a point, oops, to a point, come back down and push down again. All right, so I want you to see that you can touch, push, go to the chisel, come back, push and come down. Or you can slide up, make it a longer slender. Now this is where I need to get a little bit of medium. I'm gonna go over and dip in the medium. And then we're ready. So it's dry up here, you might not see it. So I'm gonna come up to the tip, reverse direction of the petals, push down and come back. All right, so I want to go sideways because I think the light, the shadows get me. All right, so it's just I want a point. So I want you to work on getting that point with me. All right, so hydrangeas actually have that kind of look too. So see if I have dry edges, I can dip a little bit of medium if I need it. All right, let me go get a teeny bit of medium. And I only need medium on where the this point's gonna be. Okay. And then these are out here and one more. All right. The beauty about one stroke painting, if you don't like something, you can restroke it. All right, so look, I can come up here. I got a teeny bit more medium and I'm just gonna keep coming over here and working it in. All right, so then I'm gonna come up here. All right, so then I can come in front, guys, in front of this. Do one. This is really good practice for you. I call it a skill builder. So you're going to build your skills by coming over here and continually practicing these strokes. So see these three petals are in front of the other petals. I can even put one that comes down a little bit. There we go. Okay, now look at the petals. That's a teardrop. There's a wiggle teardrop and there's a wave of a teardrop. And there's um, one that goes to a point and there's one that goes way up high to a point. Okay. All right, so I also are going to show you that I can dip into some yellow. and show you some different colors you can get with the same blue and white brush. I just flipped it over, picked up a little. But
second corner into magenta. Okay, now look what's going to happen if I come over here and pick up some yellow. I want a stronger pink. And on the white edge, I pick up yellow. All right, so I want you to see what happens here. I'm going to, I can do the same flower. Look at the difference when I come in here. And it looks like a whole different flower. So when I lose it, see, I lose that color with one stroke paint and you pick up fresh paint and you just re-stroke it. You don't wipe anything off. All right, so see how pretty that ends up being? But it changes the whole feel of what we're doing. All right, so look at this. I'm going to do a little bit of a wave. And I like to make little separations. If you do the head, two arms, and two legs, then they're good. it's going to be good every time right okay now i'm just showing you some quick and easy little ones i'm also going to show you that i'm going to pick up white and magenta right here go back and get a little bit of yellow now look what happens here i'm going to go and wiggle the back i have to pick up paint again i went up and got some fresh white and yellow. I went up and over and I wanted to touch that exact line and make a um, U shape right here. U. And you touch. So the key is, let's do it again. The key is I want to see really good magenta in the middle. Okay, I'm going to pick up a little bit of white so you can see it really well. Then I'm going to touch here and come back up see the u so you see the pink down in the middle and then i'm going to come around here and do let's do a couple more of those wiggled petals now these are real simple beginner strokes i just want you to enjoy it and see if you keep your brush pushed down it's ha half strong excuse me half sprung so look, I'm going to come back in here and make just this little wiggle petal. Just a little petal. So those are just the petals I just was showing you. You can clean it back up by restroking over it. So, okay, so you did one row of these, push down harder, then one row of it, push less, and then you're going to finish the, the rosebud in the middle. But look, then I'm going to come here and lean this brush out slightly. Look, chisel, lay it out, stand up. And when I'm standing up, look, I touch, lean the light color, and come across. So you have to practice that a little bit, but it's you can do that. You lean out and slide across, lean out and slide across. Okay, so this is just the beginning of what you can learn on there. So let me show you before I stop. Let me show you some little leaves. I'm going to be using this yellow and a teeny bit of green. All right, so we're going to go right here. And I actually can use the sunflower and sap green. See, I've got to work it in. So you work it till it's nice and blended. So you see all those shades. Oops, sorry. So you see all those shades. All right, so I can come right in here. I'm going to get a little bit more sap green. And grab this base of this flower. And I'm going to come along here. And then I'm going to push down and slide. I need medium. All right. So I don't think you're seeing me get medium. So I need to show you. I've got this brush ready. I'm going to dip straight into the medium. 
work it in and then I'm ready to go. So all right, so I can do little slender ones like I did over here. I also like to get a little small brush. Take a deep breath. You're supposed to be relaxing while you're doing this. Relax. Relax. Okay. So I want you to see that I'm going to make a little flat, stand up, flat, stand up. So these can be long and slender, or they can be short. I'm so sorry, I'll pull it up so we don't do that again. All right, so I'm going to come out, push hard, and then stand up. See how much better that looks than that. See that one? It wasn't complete because I didn't push hard enough. And then when you stand up, you have the fat, the wider part of the leaf. And so push and lift. Okay, now what I like to do is do a little bit of a fern, or it could just be little leaves on the stem from our little flower here. I need more paint. <laughs> I keep getting the camera. All right. So when we do this guy, I could have little thin little guys hanging from there. And a little slender. The slender guys coming up, right? Alright, so in here I'm just gonna push the stand up, push, push. And then I can bring my liner in there to, to stroke a few of those. This one looks a little bit like a hibiscus, the way I stroked it. All right, so all I have to do from there is to take my liner and I'm gonna get a little bit of water Pick up the sap green and just roll that paint on there. So look, I'm going to grab this and pull little stems into my greenery. Those little leaves. So Push down and stand up. That is not doing like I want it to. Look, I'm gonna look. <laughs> let me try that again. Lay it down and stand up. And this is just like a comma. A little bit of scroll work. But I want you to see that I can come in here, right in in this area, right in here, and I can do a stamen make it look like a little hibiscus okay so i can that dot i guess i'm gonna dot white dot 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 and we make it look it's kind of shaped like a little tall christmas tree and you can put little teeny dots okay see the little hibiscus there you go, it's gonna focus in just a minute. I can also take the green and go along the bottom of the center. All right, then I can put just a little bit of dark in the middle of the sky. And we're gonna put multiple dots in here.
little dot in here. And the other thing you can do, guys, is we can take a little bit of white and roll our brush. Like I got to roll the brush to get the skinny little white tip out of here. And I can go in in some of these flowers and do a little bit of line work. You just turn it around a little bit of line work so i want to see practicing you come on my group my facebook group and show us what you practiced and see how that looks i bet you you will be inspired by everybody being impressed by you now this is what i was going to show you over there is that these are um, stamens that are coming from the inside of this flower and you can then come back later and even put yellow on the tips. Okay. I think that's a lot for you to practice. So maybe you can practice before next week and come share with me. Share with us and tell me what flower you want to learn next. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you later. Come back and paint today. I want to see what you accomplish.